today. I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Cleo says hello as she tries to knock over my books. Hi. I am super excited to be filming this. this I think this is my third year filming this, um, this tag. I don't do tags very often, but I have to do the mid-year book freak out tag. I just have to. I have to, you know, sort of like evaluate what I've read this year so far and really like take into consideration like how am I doing? Am I doing okay? So, so far this year I have read 69 books, which is pretty fantastic. So I've got some some statistics I can share with you. Um, I'll pop up a little uh, eh, a little graph that sort of shows you. But um, out of my books, 18.8% are non has been nonfiction, and 81.2% have been um, fiction. I read on multiple formats, but 53.4% have been in print, 30% on digital. 8.2 on audio and then 8.2 on multiple formats which just means that I go from the physical to the audio to the like I just go back and forth um since I did a lot of reading for work uh 59 percent of my reading so far this year was children's and middle grade while 40.6 percent have been adult so far and what I'm super proud of are um like the genre um, distribution because a lot last year I read a ton of mysteries so much so that I I sort of burnt myself out on mysteries to be honest but I'm really happy because um, as you can see general fiction is 41.8 percent 9 percent on sci-fi 1.5 percent on fantasy 23.9 on mysteries 4.5 on thrillers and then it just goes like a little bit lower um 16.4 percent of general nonfiction. so i'm doing pretty good and i am reading a ton of backlisted books 91.3 percent of backlisted books so that's pretty good and then um 8.7 of books 8.7 percent of books that were published um in this year and then i'm also um borrowing a lot of books so 53.6 percent have been borrowed 17.4 from the library i've only purchased 17.4 percent um purchased this year 7.2 percent per um read of my own and then arcs are 4.3 percent so those are just some basic sort of um categories that I have read from um, I I can go into more but I'll do that towards the end of the year to really show you sort of like a deep dive into my reading but um, let's dive into the the questions for the mid-year book freak out tag so there's 13 questions and um, the first one is best book you've read so far in 2021 that is hands down um, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I love this book so much. I can't, it's one of those books that you can't really describe in detail or you'll ruin it. You just will. Um, just know that our main character is Dr. Uh, Rylan Grace and he wakes up with basically no memory and he is in a ship um thousands of light years away and he figures out that he is the world's only hope to survive that's all i'm going to tell you that's just that's all you need to know um but that's all that's all i'm going to tell you and it's so good I still think about it every single day and I keep begging my husband to read it so that I will have someone else to talk to about it. All right, best sequel you've read so far in 2021. I don't like do like, when I think of sequel, it's like, oh, the second book or whatever. I haven't read a lot of those, but I did absolutely love Murder in the Cookbook Nook by Ellery Adams. Um, one of my favorite series by her that she stopped was the um, the writing series. For some reason, it's escaping my mind, uh, the title of it. I think it's like the Books by the Bay writers series. Um, but one of her characters from that series shows up 
that's all I'm gonna say I'm not gonna tell you who I'm not gonna say anything else but that is the reason why it has been my absolute favorite uh, sequel I've read so far this year I absolutely loved it new release you haven't read yet but want to so in like a week um mocha she wrote by ellie alexander is coming out which i'm i've already pre-ordered i'm super excited about we get sort of like a cozy with andy in it her barista and i have been waiting for this one so long andy's one of my absolute favorite characters and i can't wait to watch him grow a little bit more so that will be fantastic. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. That's going to be The Cure for what, for what Ails You by Ellie Alexander. It comes out on October 5th. It looks so good. And I just got an an arc, an e-arc from NetGalley for it. So I don't have to wait till October. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Okay. Biggest disappointment for this year. That would have to be Murder in the Margins by Marjorie Loudon. So we read this for the Cozy Escape Book Club and I thought that I was going to freaking love it. It's about a, an American author who does sort of like an author overseas kind of job. She has a lot of things going on at home that she's not um, dealing well with very well. And so she decides that to get rid of a writer's block and to sort of like straighten her head she's going to do sort of like a writer on campus kind of thing at this bookstore in England and it had such a killer premise I really 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 like wanted it to be awesome but it was a lot of convolutedness and like the characters were kind of hard to keep straight and I don't know it just wasn't my cup of tea um if you want to see what we uh like the book club as a whole thought about it you can go and check out the video where we de dive deeper into it but i just wasn't a biggest fan of it um the next one is your biggest surprise read that's gonna have to be pride and prejudice by jane austen so you guys know i am not normally a classics reader at all but um when I posted about uh, wanting to sort of read Pride and Prejudice and Pride and Premeditation, um, Ellery Adams actually reached out to me and she was like, hey, I will buddy read Pride and Prejudice with you. And that made it so much fun. And I got so attached to the characters and I like started buying like Jane Austen inspired shirts and it's just, Ellery and I are actually buddy reading Pride and Premeditation and then we're going to dress up as Regency women and we're going to do a video about it. Like it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay so that is Pride and Prejudice. Um, a new favorite author um, or debut or new to you. So that's going to have to be Anna James. She is a middle grade writer for Pages and Co. The Book Wanderer series. I just thought it was so freaking precious and I loved the arts, the, like, like the art styles in there and I just, I, I really, really liked it. It was fantastic. Okay, so it says newest fictional crush. Guys, I just don't, I just don't really get crushes on my fictional characters and in, a, in the books that I read there's not a lot of male characters to have crushes on like they're sort of like side characters that don't really get a lot of depth so no newest favorite character I would have to say like the character that like took my heart that I didn't expect was Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice I now understand why people like name their cats after Darcy and just all of that like just the uh, the amazingness of a brother he is just as a as an older sibling and as someone who loves my sister more than anything i can i can jive with with mr darcy i just i just can okay a book that made you happy so it wasn't necessarily a book but i had fallen behind three different three books behind on the book retreat mystery series by ellery adams and I hadn't realized that I had fallen that behind. I thought I was only like one book or two. So then I binge read the last three um, last month and that made my heart so happy. That was probably like, I was just like a really, really calm, like I love these characters. I know these characters kind of reading month. 
Okay, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. So I really, really, really love the cover of Pride and Premeditation. I love that it is embroidered and it looks really, really cool and nifty. I'm, I, I am a big fan of, of this book here. All right. So last question, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Okay, so there are way too many to list. I should, I, one of these days I should pull all of the physical books, just physical, physical books off of my shelves and just go through all of the books that I physically haven't read yet. Do I keep purchasing books? Yes, yes I do, I have a problem. I have a problem but I want to make sure that I'm caught up on all of Ellie Alexander's Ellery Adams and I want to read some more Jane Austen because I really dug that it was a lot of fun so how is your uh, sort of mid-year check-in going with all of your reading are you hitting the goals that you wanted to hit are you you know just not having goals living free and just reading in your mood reading this let me know down below but that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.